What is going on, lady and gentlemen? Sadaji here, and welcome back to another K Test video. This one is going to focus on the content update for March 8, 2021. That's right, this part just came out last week, and I kind of didn't have time to cover it, but this is a good opportunity for me to cover it because there are all a lot of major changes to the Soulman class, but also Lucy Fairy. We are getting Lucy Fairy exchange system, which is really nice, by the way. Guild mission improvements for Borosai, but also guild team, guild penalty, and then we are going to see some major changes for Swordsman classes as well at the Vivor itself. Now, there's one more that I do want to talk about and that is going to be the Falconer. Falconer is getting some changes. I think a lot of people are probably seeing this one. Falconer is getting circling chain with only applied to party member only. Aiming function has been changed as well which reduced enemy invasion under the half attic range. And we're also getting to see the Tomahawk scores getting 2% damage ratio increase. I think this is pretty decent at least but I know the majority of Falconer is rethinking really whether they should switch out their Falconer because of these two major changes for circling as well aiming but you know i kind of want to hear from the falconer main perspective like are you guys planning to switch out your falconers when we get these changes and on the global server let me know what you guys think about this one because this is really interesting when it comes to the falconer main especially for the players who's playing as a support with falconer hunters and some other future cast for the archer appraiser is pretty good as well because hunter falconer and appraiser is one of the best combos for support when it comes to the archer let me know what you guys think about this one all right so let's go back to the first one the first one is going to be the Lucy Fairy Exchange System. I'm pretty excited by the way because this one has been one of the most assets or suggested system that people have K to us but also the global server that they want IMC to add a system that allow players to change their Lucy Fairy accessory. They don't want to go all the way back just to crap a new accessory and just literally just make a new one so like that that's just painful you know getting plus 10 or plus 11 and getting trans 10 accessory is super super annoying anyway going to this one you need to talk to the pyromaster master npc and you can access this system right away but the thing is there are a few requirements the first one is going to be zero potential lucy fairy accessory but also a level 450 accessory chain box with required two for necklace and one for the bracelet more importantly, you actually need to get this book from the Wing of Vivor NPC, which is located in Capella right next to Event Notice Board. It's really easy to spot her, by the way, and there's no way you can miss it. Now, you need at least 40 coins to obtain this, and it's pretty easy to get a 40 coin if you just log in every single day for the attendant and such. But yeah, this is really interesting, and I'm looking forward to switch out my accessory to the champlain so I can actually test out the full potential of the champlain of the tech build. I heard a lot of good things about that class, and I'm looking forward to it, actually. Next is going to be the Gilman improvements and guild lip penalty now let me give you guys a full summary of what is going on with the guild mission they are actually changing the duration to five words as well as guilting from 30 minutes to 60 minutes they also delete the first girl patterns for guilting as well so you don't have to actually worry about this one which is really nice by the way they are changing the number of challenge available per day for one to unlimited or i don't know just delete restriction so to be honest, the 30 minutes to 60 minutes is really nice by the way because some of the guilds can already do Borota within less than an hour. But yeah, by all means, this is actually really good for the majority of the guilds that's trying to schedule the player to do a Borota but also guilty. And that one hour duration is super super nice to keep them online and just deal with Borota and guilty on that specific day. I don't know about this one, but let me know what you guys think about this one. Next is going to be about guild lead chain penalty. They are changing from the withdrawal periods from 2 weeks to 1 week which is really nice by the way and the players cannot do GGDWs or guild quests during that time. All right, next we have the Borosa Wing. This is the most on demand right now is because Borosa Wing used to be the most OG wings in the games when they implemented Borosa back in the day. And you also get this buff where you get Borosa Wing behind you. So the only problem is that you cannot remove this buff unless like it ran out duration. So technically they added this wing back into the game and here's the icon but also the wing itself. It look really nice by the way and it requires at least 500 metal on the Borosa to purchase it from the shop. So if you're out there and you have not spent a single coins, save those medals and you can get this wing later once they add it to the game. Alright boys, we are getting into the Vivor adjustment and change for the Soulman class. The first one is going to be the Hacker Spell. The only thing that they changed for the new ones, especially for the Hacker Spell, is the 5 second for the Hacker Pella. And then they changed the Quick Cast on Shop Hugging and Hit Twice. So they removed the Grind Cutter and only applied to Shop Hugging. So I guess that is pretty nice by the way. The next one is going to be the Doppel Vivora. This one, they only changed the casting time from 1.5 second to 1 second for the Doppel. On to the next Vibora, and that is going to be the 
the hop tile vibora now let me explain how this vibora actually work when you cast a french drop bus by this mouse your basic attack it changed to javelin for 10 seconds and you will throw the spear to a single target within 250 range the damage is equivalent to 50 percent of the spirit draw skill factor of the current level now that this sounds pretty bad to be honest but when you get the new chain javelin skill is plus two when you are not mounts and casting javelins acquire one stack of javelin buffs available up to three stacks which last 25 seconds basic attack consume one stack of the buff and throw a spear at a single target within 250 range now the javelin skill factor is the same as the current level of the spirit rolls and it hit up to six times so this is quite big in my opinion they also changed the level forward as well stopping final damage to the pure final damage so i'm looking forward to see how many up tower is actually getting this level 4 vivora once they get a chain this is pretty big chain in my opinion compared to the old vivora now for the next Vibora and that is going to be the Cataphract Vibora Matchless. The only thing that they are trying to change was the skill factor 24,000 into the skill factor of the specific skill at the current level. It could be speed chart, it could be rush, but the translation is kind of a little bit weird and then it can hit up to 5 times. So this could be really good if you manage to hit like 10 mil per line. I could say that this might be better than compared to the old Vibora but who knows, we'll just have to see. Alright, so we have a few more before we get into the warrior section. The first one is going to be item icon chains for the black and red store fragments and color gym selection box. I don't know the icon or what it's changing into. So this would be interesting once we get the new icon in the future. Mastercard, they are changing the purchase limit into the monthly basic and they are adding new cards such as the slash property, sapping property, but also fire magic damage <laughs> all right so they're also changing some client ui as well which allow you to select the 32 bit update and 64 bit update so but yeah that's pretty much the change for the client next is going to be the skill and arts battlings for the sobin class double barbarian blossom blader hacker spell and much much more now for the sources category, I'm only going to cover what's really important and what's not really important. But if you're interested in checking out the in-game actually changes, then I recommend checking out Ludo's video. The link to his video will be available in the video description below. Alright, so going back to the chain for doubles, they did a few things for this class by the way. They removed the shock debuff, they removed the damage increase for the shot for the bleeding, and they kind of doubled the skill factor itself, which is really nice by the way. Kind of like a compensation for some of the majority of the skill. They also added new attribute for Zoho, which is called Continuous Shard. What it does is actually reduce the enemy invasion and block by 50% for 5 seconds, and it does damage by 20% of the skill factor every 0.5 seconds and lasts up to 5 seconds. So you can say it does like 10 hit which is really nice by the way they also delete the double pay earns and apply it to deal valor so deal valor right now they change the maximum level from 15 to 5 and the skill have been changed as well so the final damage increase from 3 plus the skill level multiplied by 2 into 15 so you get that huge damage boost straight up right away 15 percent and it applies to the final damage skill of the double skill. Next is going to be the new art that they're adding to the deal veiler and that's going to be double pair. So technically they combine both skills together. The duration of the deal veiler buffs have been changed to 30 seconds and the effect increase of final damage of double has been removed. Physical and magic defense decreased by 25% and when you use a double skill, it does an additional hit based on the skill that occurs. So technically if you had 10 mil, another 10 mil line will occur. So you could say double could be pretty good by now. Now the buff duration will increase by 3 seconds when you use Barbarian Frenzy buff, which is really nice by the way for double Barbarians and Blossom Blade builds. Next is going to be Star Hall. Now they change the maximum level from 15 to 10 but also reduce the overheat. I guess this is like a, some kind of like prenup to the skill itself, but when you hit the attack attack with a counter your critical rate will be double which is really nice by the way they also adjust the skill factor for the skill as well now there are some major changes zero hall bleeding debuff is removed and they have a new attribute which over here is changed to one and the enemy that is knocked down will be portorial which so it's like a really nice cc in my opinion cycle the range have been increased by 50 percent which is super super nice by the way and it'll be able to change and move around while using the skill as well they also updated two tier four cyclone tornado as well all right, hacker spells. Now, hacker spell is probably the most least favorite class in the summon category, but they made a lot of changes to this class and it's definitely viable now. So, hacker spell getting a dagger mastery, but also shield mastery. Dagger will convert 30% of the gallic weapons into the physical damage, and then shield mastery will convert 50% of physical defense into raw attack damage. So, you could say you could go for the dagger mastery or shield mastery depending on where you want to be tankier or more burst damage with hacker spells. The next one is going to be storm bolts. Some of the skills that have been changed as well, they actually 
literally just double the skill factor well literally not literally double but like increased by 50 percent they remove some of the thing that's happening for stone bolts sharper gains helmet chopper cavalry charge and much much more i think the best one that they changed was actually the shop hugging and helmet chopper helmet chopper actually has been changed to slash and over here it changed from one to two cooldown has been changed from 15 to 20 seconds and this is literally the best damage skill that i've ever seen with two over here so that is super nice by the way now Cavalry Charger, they changed the level from 50 to 1. I think they changed the function of skill as well. Charge at the enemy, collide with the enemy, inflict damage, and drop the enemy. And the companion on the floor with 50% change the probability and knock down the ground type enemy, including the character. Chance of removing debuff when the enemy is hit is fixed at 10%, and the shot debuff is removed. So I could say this is like a mobility, utility skill right now, which is not bad in my opinion. Hecapella, they actually changed this one. They increased the maximum level from 1 to 10, and they increased the final damage damage of hack capel spells based on the skill level multiplied by five so basically you get a 50 percent final damage for hack capella they change the duration from 15 to 20 but also the cooldown 45 to 60 seconds so you can say that they remove the hack capella from the vivora and apply it to the skill itself now, Hackapella Gorilla, the function of her art will be changed as follows. When using Hackapella, you become immune to slow and increase the chance of critical rate by the skill level multiplied by 3%. So, technically, you get a 30% crit rate, which is really nice in my opinion. The skill called Grind Cutter has been changed as well. The skill function is changed as follows. Continue to cut enemy in front of you at 0.5 second interval for 2 seconds, which is technically 20 hit. The cooldown has been changed from 15 seconds to 20 seconds, then the whole heat has been changed from 3 to 1. Now, onto the Plasma Blader, they actually did a lot of change for this class, by the way. The first one is going to be Flowering. The ability to increase the damage of the Blossom Slash skills has been removed. Depending on the number of stacks, the Slash minimum equipment has been increased based on the following number of Blossom Stacks multiplied by 2. So you can say you can get like 10% minimum equipment with the skill. The number of target will change as follows as well as 1 plus the skill level itself. Now, Flowering's worst has been deleted, so this achievement is gone forever. Control Blade, the maximum level has been changed from 10 to 15 fallen blossom maximum level have changed from 15 to 5 they also changed the cooldown but also increased the skill factor by 2x amount so that is really nice by the way for the fallen blossom they also add a new fallen blossom arts which allows you to hit a fire enemy in the big city of the blossom d but the cooldown is increased by 20 seconds so this is really nice by the way the huge damage buff right here for le target and the next is going to be the star up now for the star up they actually delete a lot of attributes for the skills they change the maximum level from 15 to 10 and the maximum cast time has been changed to one second so you don't have to worry so much about a long cast time for the skill so they delete the attribute for control play flash fallen blossom and blossom slash now they change the skill effects to maximize out at level 10 instead of level 15 and they also add a new attributes called starter blossom now this attribute will increase the number of hit up control play for the blossom and blossom slash skills by one while the buffs continuously when fully charged so you could say this is a really nice effects for damage increase for blossom blader now, the flash attack attribute is changed to slash, and the art flash thunderbolts attribute has been deleted. For the blossom slash in PvP, the number of hit will be changed accordingly to the charging time, which hit up to 6 times. Next, we have Highlander. To give you a full summary of what is going on with Highlander, they actually changed the skill factor by doubling it, increase a little bit more, and they also changed the card squad effect as well, changing it to make it impossible to invade during casting. The same applies for the shield guard as well, which is really nice, by the way. And that is pretty much it for the Highlander, technically. All right, so for the Barbarian, Barbarian is super, super nice. I think a lot of people would say it's the nerf, but it also a buff at the same time. So let me break down how it's actually work. Stopping kick, the maximum level have been changed from 15 to one. The could have been changed from 30 seconds to one second so you can say you can play like a mario game <laughs> with the stomach kick like just jump and just stomp on the enemy i could say that could be really bad could be really good either but either way it's it's really weird it's like a mario situation where you use stomach kick i think root of try and did the same thing where your character grow bigger and just jump on enemy and stomp them I don't know. I don't know how this skill actually gonna work in the future, but we just have to see based on these changes. Frenzy, the color of the skill icon has been changed to green. When used while riding companion, the Y area attack ratio increased by the frenzy skill level divided by two. Cleave, increase the damage received from slash probability has been removed as well. War cry, the color of the skill icon has been changed to green. When using skill grinding companion, the evasion increased by based on the skill level multiplied by three against attack from the target with the war cry debuff.
Now for same, they actually increased it a little bit for the skill factor from 396 to 452. But what's really nice is actually pouncing. When you use it with one hand weapons or a daggers, the motor stroke speed has been increased by 20%. So technically you can actually cast this faster. When you use it with equipped two hand weapon, the minimum crit chance is increased by 30%. That is pretty broken by the way. I don't know where the translation is doing wrong or what, but 30% minimum crit chance is pretty, pretty big. Now there are letter master for beasts when use equipped two hand weapon the minimum christian is also increased by 30 percent so technically with these two alone you can say that is like 60 percent minimum increase chance just to use pouncing Next is going to be the Falconers. I already covered the Falconer in the beginning of the videos. They changed circling to apply to party member only. Aiming now is like an evasion debuff, which is really nice for the heart at the range. Tomahawks now score increased by 2% damage ratio. So that is pretty much for Falconers. On to the hop tile, they actually did some change for this class, like a lot of changes by the way. Now the first one is going to be pure, they delete the function of the dragon helmet and the startup bust which apply the extra hit by 1. They double the skill factor of the skill, the number of hit have been changed and it's thick as 4. The weapon restriction have been changed to 1 hand spear, 2 hand spear, dagger and shield. Single thrusting, they delete the functions which you can read right here. They change the skill factor just a little bit more but they increase the number of hit from 2 to 3. The weapon restriction is also changed to 1 hand spear dagger and skill now for the r single dressing repeated hits the function of r's will change as follow double number of the hits when counter hit and give a stun to the enemy for two seconds increase the cooldown by 15 seconds so i could say this is pretty decent for single thrusting and it's not overpowering spear throws the cooldown have been changed from 10 seconds to 25 seconds the overhead hits have been changed to two to three now the skill factor of the skill has been changed a little bit from 323 to 427 now the r spear throw earths have been renamed into a javelin explosion the art function will change as follows explosion occur in use place where you see spear in windows explosion occur after two seconds damage up to eight enemy the knockdown effect of javelin has been removed so this could be pretty nice in my opinion extra LA damage for the spear though and next is going to be spear lung the following feature is being deleted make you vulnerable to spear attack increase the damage taken by spear by 50 percent so this has been deleted the skill factor has been changed as well they let's just literally add 200 skill factor on top of the skill so it's not bad in my opinion it's pretty good and decent as well overheat have been changed from five to three and number of have been changed from one to two so they kind of replay that feature where you increase damage effect by 50 percent and it does not make you overpower but it's still pretty decent in my opinion Opinion. stopping the final feature is to be deleted when using dragon helmet and starter buffs effect the number of hit will increase by three so they deleted that the following feature have been changed the old one is that increased damage by 100 they change is that each attack increased final damage by 10 percent up to 150 percent the cooldown has been changed from 15 to 30 basically double the cooldown the skill factor have been changed a little bit they adjusted from 126 to 209 they also changed the weapon restriction to one hand spear two hand spear dagger and shield so it's really depending on how you build this class with this specific skill in my opinion Fiesta, the buff duration has been changed from 60 seconds to 30 minutes. Hop tile accumulation, this is a new attribute. Pure two hand piercing, javelin, spear lung, final damage has been increased by 30% of the last overheat. So, technically, majority of the skill has overheat, but if you use on the last one, it's going to increase the final damage by 30%. Onto the most underrated spear class in 3 of Saber, and that is going to be the Cataphract. Now, for the Emperor, the following feature has been deleted. The Sharp Spear Buzz Indian effects, the number of attack increased by 2 has been deleted and removed from the game. The skill factor has been changed from 590 to 1294. Earthwave property, the following feature has been deleted. Increase the damage dealt to the falling enemies by 100%, so technically, enemy that got knocked back or knocked down. The skill factor has been changed from 142 to 695. Overheat has been changed from 3 to 1. And weapon restriction have been applied to 2 hand, 1 hand, and dagger and shield. So basically, the spear weapon for 2 hand and 1 hand spear. Earth weight, earth property attribute has been deleted. Steel charge, the skill factor has been changed just a little bit from 1340 to 1733. The dual spy, the following feature has been deleted, and that is going to be the knockdown. The quota has been changed from 15 to 25 seconds. The skill factor has been changed from 170 to 499. Weapon restriction has been changed to two hand spear, one hand spear, dagger, and shield. Dual spy, remove knockdown attribute has been deleted. 
And lastly, we have Reti Arria. So, full Reti, the function has been changed as follow. The old one increased damage by 75% when attacking with one hand spear piercing, changing it to the 50 plus skill level, but by 5% increased damage when attacking with a one hand spear weapon. The debuff duration changed as follow from 2.5 seconds plus the skill level to 5 seconds only. Weapon restriction to one hand spear, dagger, and shield. Throw red tea, the following feature has to be deleted. Only one third of the duration is applied to the catcher target and only one half of it applied to the boss target. The change function as follows. So basically the debuff duration as well as the damage increase is equivalent to the pool red tea version. So there's not much different from these two skill. Weapon restriction have been changed to one hand spear, dagger and shield. Dagger god can only be used with one hand spear and the dagger. So trading finish, the following feature has to be deleted. If you're trapped, increase the crit raise by 200%. So that thing is deleted. The skill factor have been changed a little bit the overheat have been changed from four to three and number of here increased from one to two this arm um, the physical defense reduction ratio changed from 25 percent to 10 percent the cooldown changed from 30 seconds to 15 seconds the skill factor have been slightly adjusted a little bit from 2001 to 2339 number of here have changed from one to two and the weapon string applied to one spear shields and dagger so technically every single skill here will be applied to one spear shield and dagger so i don't have to repeat that dagger finish the following feature has been disabled or deleted increased crit rate by 200 percent if the target is in state of doing throw trap Traps, either hooks or trap stakes. So technically, any skill that will apply to throw ready or pull ready, nowhere applied to like an extra crit rate for that dagger finish. The cooldown has been changed from 10 seconds to 20 seconds. Skill factor has been doubled. Over here, has been changed two to one. The number of here been changed one to three, which is really big, by the way. So this skill hit up to three times. Weapon restriction, the same thing that I had to talk about. One in spears, shields, and dagger only. Blandir Sedana. So the following feature has to be deleted. On the last hit, the target is launched into the air. It's creates a crit rate by 2% if the cast is debuff, iron hook, or trap stake. So technically, throw red tea or pull red tea. The skill factor has been changed a little bit from 499 to 724. And we also have a new property attribute. It's called Retarious Fighting Spirit. So if there is one enemy with a surrounding of 100 range, you will get a Fighting Spirit stack, which you get a 2 stack every 1 seconds, up to 10 stack. If there are two or more enemy of surrounding 100 range fighting spirit will overlap decrease by one overlap per stack so technically you lose one stack per second increase the final damage of one hand spear by one percent per stack so technically you're getting 10 percent final damage increase with one hand spear weapons so that is pretty nice by the way well lady and gentlemen that is pretty much for all this video thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this title content don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel this is satoshi once again and i'll see you all in the next video peace out